What's up? I want to do a Rings of Power episode four review slash my thoughts. And uh, to start off, I want to just go ahead and say that I am having second thoughts about my optimism about this series. Um, Just a couple of quick things that I'm going to go into. I want to talk about how ridiculous I think some of the writing is on this. It's just not good. And it's unfortunate. So it's one thing to have, uh, you know, a show that is loosely based off of, you know, Tolkien stuff. And, it, you know, they're adding new things, but they're doing it well. It's another thing to have something that isn't really, I mean, it's, there's names that are in the Tolkien thing. But then on top of that, they're doing it really poorly. So uh, a couple things from episode four. There's, there's a lot of them, but uh, the, the ones that really stood out to me, right off the bat, you got the, the queen of Numenor, Mariel, uh, holding someone else's baby, and she walks to the edge of the window where a tidal wave starts to uh, smash the island to bits, and the mother of this baby doesn't ever even come to get her baby. She just lets Mariel take it to the window with a giant massive wave crushing everything, and why is she holding a baby? The only thing I can think of is that this is what you do in uh, like low level drama productions. You you have little props that you hold on to to make it look like you're busy or to make you look some way. So somebody said to her, hey, carry this baby with you to the window because it will look motherly or something. Like another example um, of just bad, <laughs> I'm just talking about bad writing. You got Arondir, the elf, rescuing that annoying kid Theo from the orcs. They're raining arrows down. Arondir is grabbing the arrows out of the air and then firing them back on the the orcs, mowing them down, and the arrows are just flying left and right. But then suddenly, that stupid lady Borwin, or whatever her name is, she comes running in, into the woods, out of nowhere. Magically, she knows where they're at. And she feels the need to just run to grab her son and magically look at that. The arrows all stop flying for her to get her son. And then they run out of the woods and then uh, they're standing there. He brandishes his sword out in the daylight. Why they decided to turn around and not keep running, I have no idea. But because it it looked like maybe it would be a cool scene for the movie maybe the people were like, we need to have this scene where there's going to be some sun that comes out of the clouds, it's going to rise, and the orcs are going to be mad because they can't go out into the sun. And it will look really cool having him hold the sword while they're trying to come, but they can't. The only thing is, they apparently decided that it was so cool and it was such an epic moment and that they didn't want anybody to be in actual danger that they the the orcs magically forgot that they had bows and arrows which they could have still shot from the woods and why the f did arandir who has a bow and arrow who's been mowing them down decide that now was the time to pull out his sword with the, the the incompetent lady by his side who pulls out like a freaking like a uh corn shearer or one of those uh reaper the the things that with the the sigh the sigh that you cut down like wheat with <laughs> what's she gonna do with that and so uh it, it was just a lot of uh a lot of pieces like that also i know that they said that they're not going political that they're not going woke but there were a couple classic moments throughout it where you can absolutely feel like they are letting things bleed in from a perspective that is of left narrative that would, uh, through the lens of, that they are helping the, the viewers to look through, such as the one dude that got punched in the face by uh, Halibrand stands on some podium and decides that he wants to tell everyone there about how the elves are going to take everyone's jobs. We can't let the elves into our borders. I wonder what that sounds like. I wonder what they're trying to emulate there. They're trying to beat people over the head with little political things like that. Also, all throughout it, you get this feeling of like, 
men are bad, women are good, let's make the men look like complete douchebags and chauvinists, and trying to put that woman in her place, and then you've got Galadriel, who basically her role is to be tough, and I'm going to show these men and show everyone that I'm right because I'm a powerful woman. That's why. They, they've got they've got all of the, the female leads surrounded by bumbling men that they've made look just stupid and weak and incompetent because that's the view that they need to express to everyone so that they can bring down the patriarchy. They want to do that in Tolkien's fantasy realm. They want to give you little hints of that so that you can just kind of remember, hey, in real life, this is what we need to be thinking about. We can't allow actual writing in which there's legit, authentic, masculine men that can also be leaders, like we saw in the first Lord of the Rings uh, series. So it's not staying true to the storyline, uh, uh, to the canon, really. They've added in a bunch of stuff and and made it more about the stuff that they've added in than about the actual storyline and staying consistent with it. So I have an issue with that. Um, I hate to say it, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm worried that this is going to be something that, because the acting and the writing is just so bad, that I'm going to um, end up like begrudgingly watching it, or worst, worst case scenario, what I'm going to probably do is I'm, I'd hate to say that I, I stop watching it, and then when those epic moments that I want to see come up, then I decide, all right, um, I'm going to read about it, <laughs> and when they tell me that these epic moments are in this episode, maybe I'll watch those moments. But uh, you've got something that looks really good, you got something that looks really good, and that's about it. You get to watch epic scenery around bad writing and bad acting. I was, this is one of my great fears for this series. I was super stoked about it. I'm like, dude, okay, if they're going to do something from the Silmarillion era, they have to do something. So in the Second Age, they've got to make a series out of it. And they absolutely could do that. And they could do a great one if they, if they write it according to what Tolkien has given us. But they're not doing that. And so I think what we're starting to see, unfortunately, we are dealing with this Lord of the Rings franchise or return of uh, sorry rings of power franchise is turning into that same fear that star wars fans had when the first three episodes of the the 2000s came out um you know the prequels uh that level of like what were they thinking level um you know you got jar jar binks and everybody hates him and yet somehow the people that that wrote the the movies thought that it would be a good idea to put that stuff in there. They're putting in crap that like nobody likes. It's just not good. Everyone online is saying how boring it is. So it's unfortunate. Um, I'm, I'm saying the same thing about this is what I was saying about season eight of Game of Thrones. After a buildup where everyone was on board and all you guys got to do is write another good season to close this thing out and you get a what were they thinking level of situation that's kind of what we're facing here with rings of power i hate to say it um yeah i'm probably going to watch a little bit more but we are we are four episodes in through the first season and um you know, uh, one more, one more. I have to, I have to address where Galadriel is with uh, Farazone down by where Halibrand is in the jail cell, and the Numenorian uh, knights come to arrest her, and she takes all five of them and does some little sidestep and just pushes them all into the jail cell like bumbling men. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, look at us! Now we're in the jail cell. And she just gives him a little smirk like, wow, look what I just did. This is not consistent at all with Tolkien's lore. So Galadriel was a very wise person. She was one of the oldest. She wasn't immature. She wasn't a little bitch like what they've made her to be, a whiny little bitch who's a, a, petulant, uh, a petulant little child acting. She's very wise. She's very, uh, she's stately. She's... She's royalty, basically. 
And she wouldn't, so she wouldn't act like that, number one. Number two, the Numenorean knights, these guys, it's clear that in, in Tolkien's writings and in his lore, that they are, when the Numenoreans in their prime are every bit as much of warriors as the elves were when they were in their prime. So this, there's no way that she would have just been able to take five of them and just do this little move. It's just another attempt to be like, wow, look what I can do because I'm Galadriel and because I'm awesome and we need to show everybody how awesome I am. So look, we're just going to have her push five Numenorean warriors into a jail cell because she can. No, we're, we're, we don't need to have it reminded to us, beat over our heads over and over again, that you want Galadriel to be ooh, a powerful woman. You need to keep it rooted in reality. There's no way that that would have happened. So anyways, that's just, these are the things that we're talking about. They are inconsistent. They're not realistic. They're not enjoyable to watch. Nobody likes Galadriel. Uh, that's something that I'm, I'm noticing online. Even the places that were talking well about the series at the beginning, like me, are now having second guesses. Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. You get on, um, you get on YouTube and you just watch, put in, type in Rings of Power review and there's some pretty hilarious stuff in there. Uh, so I still hope it pulls through. I hope that by season two, they revamp some stuff. They re restructure it. They say, this is ridiculous. Sorry, we messed up. That they don't double down on calling the viewers racist and, uh, you know, backwards or, you know, patriarchy supporters or whatever because we think that this, this show sucks so far. All right, those are my thoughts. Love y'all. I will talk to you again probably after this next one if I watch the whole thing. All right, bye.